Jesus. God is good. All of the time. I'm really impressed with the age group I see here. You represent the future of Liberia. Some of us are passing already. But we have an obligation to leave the country in better hands. The Reverend just said we can make America right here. That for me has always been a vision. And I feel that it is a vision that we cannot give the mission to anyone else to accomplish. Joy of Kennedy said, ask not what your country can give you, but what you can give to your country. And Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change you want to see in the world. Then Abba Einstein said, the world will not be destroyed by those who do evil. But by those who wash them without anything. Yeah. I cannot stand by to see my country in the virtual ICU because the next thing is we're in a grave. And I've told people if we let our country proceed along this line and vote the way we we'll voted in 2017, we will be committing national suicide. So they show the way. I have four quick projects that I want to achieve for Liberia. Some people want to be present for the need to be in history, for popularity to be known. I pass all those. I'm an international human rights award winner. My yeah. name is already in history. When you read that one book, you read my you when I was young we were in the peace process, my name is there. I'm not looking for recognition. I saw this country in a way that was a little bit better when I was at the university in the 70s and we were thinking about a better future. But I can tell you, many of you, my children, that Liberia is worse off than when I was in college. And we owe it a duty to at least transform it a little bit. Here is what was happening. I have four projects and there, was, there are things that, oh, that happened here before. One, I want free education for every child from kindergarten to third grade in all government schools. And for private schools to be heavily subsidized by government. You cannot believe that I want to, to cut the school in the elementary school and pay $12 a year. That was because government heavily subsidized the Catholic schools, the private schools, so that all the very children could go to school. Textbooks are given to every child. Students, both in government school and private schools, get care food, free food. Yeah. I heard a president saying the other day, they have never been free food. I said, no, no, we should treat you something about I get free food. We want to do that. We want to open free technical and vocational schools for all the friendship in 15 counties. It is doable. On the side of the government did not continue. We can eliminate the illiteracy in two years. Yeah. If you don't know how to read and write, you can't use the phone. You are not living in the world today. It yeah. is an obligation of the government to eliminate the illiteracy. It is written in Article 6 of the Constitution that it is a responsibility of the government to educate Liberian children as in the military So it's a constitutional duty, it's not a matter of choice. Then, we want to improve the health system. I said on first day as president, I will tell the cabinet minister and everybody in government that government will not spend one cent for anybody to job or go for medical treatment. Wow. It will not fix the system, we all die here. Yeah. If a health system is not good for the president and those who serve the government, that is not good for the citizens of also. Yes. So I will visit the hospitals. JFK, you go there today and tell them I'm lying, they'll give you prescription and say go to the lucky pharmacy. Yeah. And if JFK does not have tablet, I don't expect the clinic in Walker's and Lofa County to have tablets. No. But the hospital 
hospital in Mary Lanka, New Jersey, Dawson Hospital, you have medicine. Because that's the biggest hospital in Liberia. I go there and say, as president, I give a medical check on you. Mr. President, we don't have this, we don't have that, we don't have that. So where is the head? You are fired. They check over to the police for the investigation. <laughs> of course, I have, I'm a lawyer. I know what to do. I teach law. So we'll be going to law. You go, the investigator, you put in jail. When 10 heads of hospitals and clinics are in jail, no medicine will disappear for any of them. We will also provide free medical services for pregnant women, children under the age of five, and all Liberians 65 years old. Up. On our top of our government, pregnant women and children under the age of five did not pay any money at GFP and medicine for their infancy. What I've added is the old age people for 65 years old. Then, food production. The only thing we consider food in this country is rice. If they came all of us here, yam and gravy, we we'll eat it tomorrow, we we'll see we have not eaten. Or let's we'll eat rice. So, but we don't grow rice. The only way to keep the price of rice down and make it available is for us to grow it. In other countries, agriculture is mechanized. My plan is to mechanize rice production by giving machines purchased by government to all of the farmers in the 15 counties through the farmers cooperative on the sub loan given by the, the revitalized agriculture and cooperative development bank that will be paid in 15 years but rice will be produced here in the 15 counties we will make big farms like Salada Rubber Company or Firestone and we have big big farms like that rice will be here I have a more revolutionary addition to that that as commander in chief of the army has spread out one of the military will grow not less than 100 acres of rice in each of the 15 countries and they will do it. Because we have the agricultural battalion and engineering battalion. And I believe in two to three years Liberia will become a rice exporter rather than a rice importer. In India we want for three million that people can export rice, we can do it too. And the last thing we'll do today when I was growing up, you could leave from Kepavas, that's Harper, in the morning and reach the river the same day, using taxi. Because government put public workstations everywhere in the 15 counties to keep the roads between. That idea I brought into my plan. That when I became president, we put public workstations in all of the 15 countries to maintain the roads and build more farm to market roads for goods to move to the market and for people to move freely. That's something I work before. I don't know why people like to get rid of good ideas. So this is what I'll do. Because I, I went to Cape Palmas in 1979 as a student leader, and I took taxi and my own old Cape Palmas, Green Street in Harper City. At 6 o'clock in the morning, by 9 p.m. on the same day I was in Monterey. But the last time I went to Cape Palmas in March, I went to the Southeast as a politician, I think you've seen my picture on the internet. I took several days. In fact, between Zretu and, and Hapo, cars were getting stuck in more. In March, dry season. So, you know, those who say they are repairing the roads, well, let's see. No politician can go to Maryland now using Grand Gina or Sino to campaign. The roads are bad. That part of the country is cut off from us. So, my people, this is what I want to do. And if anybody in my government steals, you will go to jail. And all of the properties you told me stealing from you, including the houses you built for girlfriends of all. Amen. And I believe when five minutes that are in jail for five to ten years, and the money the bank taking and all the properties taking and the family members are suffering, nobody will to steal it. And then in that is where I'm still for Russia and the family. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening to me. I want to be a project manager to change my dress story for the better because I strongly believe that a better dress is possible. Thank you very much.
Anybody have? 